Hi students, welcome to Year 11 Chemistry and the Reactive Chemistry module. This is number two, the video number two, and we're going to be looking at modeling chemical reactions. Now, one of the things that's really important when we look at modeling chemical reactions is that we need to actually have a bit of a step back and understand why we use models in the first place. So modeling is a common technique in science. It's used not only for um, stochastic capabilities um, and um, statistical analyses, sometimes um, looking at things like making projections, uh, which can include things like uh, the rates of things like climate change. But models are also particularly useful in science when we are looking at trying to understand something that is very, very big, like a solar system or a universe, and also something that is very, very small, like a molecule. And these are the sorts of reasons why. Modeling helps us to um, see, or at least try to come to grips with things that, are, that can be sort of handled physically, um, that are too large or too small for us to actually physically deal with ourselves. They are a representation. They usually give us some sort of a 3D effect to see what's actually going on here. And of course, they're only useful as far as they help us to explain the behaviors that we actually see when we're looking at these sorts of things. So I have on the screen here an example of a rearrangement, in which case we have um, nitrogen and oxygen forming nitrous oxide. So in this case, we would have um, the nitrogen here, which is N2, combining with the oxygen molecule here, which is O2, and they form two molecules of nitrous oxide. And uh, of course, all of these would be uh, gases as well. One of the things that's very important when we're looking at our modeling is our modeling helps us to identify the fact that the atoms in this case are being rearranged. There's no um, additional atoms and there's no loss of atoms. So this sort of modeling helps us to identify the law of conservation of mass. And we also do that with things like our MoleMod kits. So this is a little model which represents uh, a water molecule, one oxygen and two hydrogens. If I take two of these together, then what I end up with is two oxygens and four hydrogens. Now, as long as I um, can use these models to ensure that there is no gain or loss of oxygen or hydrogen atoms, then I can rearrange these particular substances or this one particular substance into two others. Here are two oxygens, so the same two oxygens that we had originally now are bonded together in a double bond to form an oxygen molecule, O2. And the four hydrogens come together as two H2 models. So these are representing two molecules of H2. It also means that we could write down this particular reaction that I've just looked at for you, which is 2H2O forming 2H2 plus O2. The important thing when you're looking at these types of models is to remember that the total number of atoms of each element is conserved. We know we can rearrange them, that's part of our definition of a chemical reaction, but we need to make sure that they have been conserved so that the total numbers of each one are the same on either side of the arrow, which you can consider as kind of like an equal sign in, as you would in mathematics. So everything on the left must be the same as what's on the right. So over here, if I just change the color for a second, uh, we have the hydrogen, H2, 2 times 2 is 4 of these here, and then 2 times 2 is 4 of these here. And then um, a, another color for our oxygens, 
And so the two at the front of the molecule means we have two oxygens there, and the O2 tells us that we have two oxygens there, and so therefore we can give ourselves a tick. It is balanced. This is the reason why it's very important for you to balance your equations so that you show that you've got the total number of atoms the same on the reactant side as you do on the product side. The key, of course, is in a chemical reaction, the atoms are rearranged, they're not created or destroyed. Thanks for watching.